We have studied some collision problems so far. We know that we can use uh, momentum conservation for collision problems. In this lesson, we're going to talk about different types of collisions. There are elastic collisions and inelastic collisions. By definition, if a collision is elastic, in addition to momentum conservation, the kinetic energy of the system is also conserved. If a collision is inelastic, the momentum of the system is still conserved, but the kinetic energy is not. Usually, this means some kinetic energy is lost during the collision, so initial kinetic energy is more than the final kinetic energy. We end with less kinetic energy. But I guess it is also possible that the initial kinetic energy is less than the final kinetic energy. We can end with more kinetic energy if, for example, one object has something like a cap gun cap on it. So there is energy released if they collide. Anyway, as long as the system's initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy are not equal, it is an inelastic collision. Out of all inelastic collisions, there is a special kind called completely or perfectly inelastic collision. A completely inelastic collision is one that all objects involved stick together and move with the same velocity at the end of the collision. We have already studied a few completely inelastic collision problems. For example, a block is dropped onto a moving cart. A bullet is shot into a block and becomes embedded inside. These are examples of completely inelastic collisions. We use momentum conservation to solve these problems. In a completely inelastic collision, there is always kinetic energy being lost. For example, when a bullet enters a block, there must be a lot of friction between the bullet and the block, and therefore a lot of kinetic energy is turned into heat in this process. In fact, out of all possible collisions, completely inelastic collision caused the most kinetic energy loss while keeping the system's momentum conserved. One important thing I want to point out is that when colliding objects stick together and move together after a collision, we call it a completely inelastic collision. If the colliding objects bounce off each other and do not stick together, the collision is not necessarily elastic. It can either be elastic or inelastic, depending on whether the kinetic energy is conserved or not.